Hey, welcome back to the channel. So I got an interesting question last week from a guy who was asking about the different ways that I've made money with email marketing, email copywriting. He basically asked if writing for clients was the only way to make money. And it's not, I actually didn't start off writing for clients. I was writing for my own businesses. Uh, so I thought it'd be interesting to talk about the different ways that I've made money with email and give you some ideas and inspiration on how you could use this skill, this money-making skill, uh, to make money in multiple different ways and, and multiple different business models. So in this video, I'm gonna reveal the five different ways that I've used email marketing and email copywriting to make money online. And I'm gonna do it in order of the way that I've used it. So let's dive into the first thing right now. Now, the first way that I've used email to make money online was through e-commerce. And from 2015 to 2018, I was running a few of my own e-commerce stores. I was doing over seven figures per year. And email is responsible for over 35% of our overall sales across those stores. So I was sending out three emails a week in addition to our autoresponder campaigns like our welcome sequence, abandoned cart sequence, browse abandonment, and we also had upsell sequences in place. So in addition to those autoresponders, I was sending out three emails a week to the list to help nurture and get some daily sales coming in. Now at the time, I wasn't very good at copywriting. So I was still learning and a lot of the stuff that I sent out was just discount codes and, and sales and flash sales. So I wasn't very good at copywriting and I was still learning the ropes and I was reading books, watching videos, taking courses, and I was just trying it out and learning about it on my own e-commerce stores. Now, the cool thing was it still made up 35% of our sales, so a huge chunk of our sales, and I wasn't even that good at it. So imagine the impact that you can have, whether it's on your own e-commerce store, if you're not already doing it, or if you're working with e-commerce clients, you can still have a massive impact if you help them with their email marketing. So that was the first way that I used email to make money online was through my own e-commerce stores. The second way was through lead gen and booking phone calls. So at the end of 2017, I started Growth Response, which is my, it, was, it started off as a full service marketing agency. So we offered a ton of different services and we worked with medical professionals in the dentist space and the dermatologist space. And we were offering everything, right? Facebook ads, website design, copywriting, blog posts. We were doing anything that they needed. Now, the way that I got those clients was I used cold email and LinkedIn to send out messages that would book phone calls. And on those phone calls, I would close those prospects into, into paying clients for our marketing services. In 2018, I decided to make that our core service. So instead of offering all these different marketing services, we had one core productized service, which was cold email plus LinkedIn, and we were generating phone calls and leads for other companies. So we started this in 2018 as our core service. We started working with B2B SaaS companies, software companies, and we would book phone calls for them. So all we were really doing was taking the system that we use to generate clients with our full service agency, and then we offer that as a service to help book phone calls for other companies. So basically the same system that we use for ourselves, we we're just offering it as a service for other niches and other companies. Now we did this for about two and a half years until March, 2020, when COVID hit, when we switched to the third way that I made money with email, which was writing for client lists. So right when COVID hit around March, 2020, if I'm remembering this right, I saw an opportunity to help clients, we had existing clients who had big email lists of 20 to 30K plus prospects and leads and customers on there that they were only emailing a couple times a month. And as soon as the pandemic hit, I knew businesses were gonna be strapped for cash because no one could go to work. So I wanted to help these businesses. I saw an opportunity to help these businesses who had these assets of 20 to 30K plus email lists. I wanted to help them monetize what they already had instead of going out and virtually knocking on doors and trying to get them new prospects or new leads or new clients. So I wanted to take these assets they already had and monetize it for them since they weren't already doing it. So I made the decision to close enrollment for any new lead gen, which is cold email, LinkedIn clients, and only start working with clients who had these existing assets, these email lists that they weren't currently monetizing that we could go in and manage it for them. So we had a couple different services that we offered to our existing clients. And the first one was an autoresponder package where we set up a few different autoresponders to convert leads into customers and customers into repeat customers. And then we also had a daily broadcast email service where we were sending out three to five emails per week for our clients to help them nurture and convert more of their leads into customers. So we took these services to our existing client base and I made an offer to some of our existing clients who had big email lists that they weren't emailing enough 
and I just made the offer. I said, hey, you're not emailing enough. You're, you're doing two emails a month. We can do a lot more than that and convert a lot more of these leads into customers and turn more of those customers into repeat customers. How would you like us to do that for you? And we signed up our first handful of customers or clients that way on our email service. So that's the third way that I made money with email was by writing for client lists, people who had email lists that they weren't emailing enough and we'd go in and manage it for them. Now, the fourth way that I made money with email is through digital products. So online courses, coaching, and digital products like template packs and mini courses and email challenges. So in late 2019, I started building my personal brand or my personal email list. So on that list, I shared a lot of valuable content around how we were using LinkedIn and cold email to generate leads, appointments, and clients, and also about how I grew growth response from zero to multiple six figures a year. I even created an ebook called Six Figure Drop Servicing, which talked about our entire process. That was $5.60. And then I also had a course called The Ultimate Client Acquisition Playbook, which had some of our templates and video training on how to get clients using cold email and LinkedIn. And that was $1.97. There was also a third product called The Freedom Vault, which included some of our internal templates and SOPs and hiring documents. And email brought in over 50% of the sales for those products, which are all still selling today. So more recently, I created products called the Super Fast Sales Email Challenge, which teaches you how to write your first email that sells. And then I also have a product called the Email Side Hustle Program, which teaches you how to get to 1K to 5K per month by writing for other clients. And email is responsible for most of the sales, higher than 60% of the sales, I would say. I don't, I don't know the exact numbers right now. I'm not looking at it for those specific products. Now, yes, email products, teaching people how to write emails, and then also using email to sell those email products. I know it's pretty meta, but it works. And everything that I teach in these products are things that I've done myself. So it works for me. I'm teaching it to other people. They're getting great results. And I'm using email to sell all of these different digital products. So that's the fourth way I've made money with email is through digital products like online courses and coaching and template packs and guides and eBooks. Now, the fifth way I've made money with email is affiliate marketing. And this is the most recent one. So a lot of people recommend affiliate marketing as the first business to get into. I disagree. I think it's a bit difficult to get into affiliate marketing in the first business. I think services is probably the easiest to make money with quickly. The way that I use it is I have a personal brand that's growing. And because I have a personal brand, people want to know my recommendations for the products that I use to grow my business and run my business and also just random things that I use in my daily life. So I make recommendations on the software I use on different products from my office that I use, on the tech that I use. And I just make recommendations to these products in some of my emails. And I get a commission of anyone who buys from my link. So I only link to products that I personally use myself. This is another reason why I don't think affiliate marketing is good to start with because a lot of people recommend products that, I, that they don't actually use. I only recommend products that I personally use and I actually love using. So I make anywhere from 1,500 to 2K per month from affiliate commissions. Most of those are from recurring software commissions of like ClickFunnels, ActiveCampaign, and different softwares that I use to run my business. But this only came as a result of my personal brand and people asking for my recommendations. So that's the fifth and final way that I make money with email. These are all in chronological order. But as you can probably see, Email is a money-making skill that's gonna serve you no matter what business model or business that you're in. So e-com, agency, freelancing, digital products, info products, coaching, consulting, software even, email can help you sell all those different things. So I believe, strongly believe, it's a money-making skill that you should learn regardless of your business model. If you like making money, learning how to write emails is gonna be a good skill to learn. Now, if you'd like to learn more about how to write emails that sell for your business or for clients, go to emailrainmaker.com. That'll take you to my free Facebook group where I share a lot of content on how to do exactly that. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like and subscribe if you're not already. And I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy.